Okay, I failed at uh, putting new ROMs in my Spectrum Analyzer last time, and uh, I believe it was due to the format or the compression. It's something to do with the file format uh, that I had the parts in. The hex files just don't seem to work with the programmer that I have. You'd think that Intel hex format would work just fine, but I don't know if the addressing is funny or something strange about it. And I just don't, I don't know enough to, to, to get it to work. But I did find another website that had binaries of the ROMs. And so I believe these to be the last version, the 1998 version of the firmware for the 8590 series. It doesn't matter which one you have, the 80, all the 8590s are the same. And uh, supposedly this is the latest, latest version. I'm going to do a different thing also, is I bought some uh, additional ROMs so I can pull out my ROMs, put in these if they work great. If they don't work, I just plug the other ones back in so I don't have to go through all the all the hassle and everything. So I'm gonna give it one more college try. And uh, there it is over there. Uh, let's open it up and uh, let's try this one more time. All right, uh, if you ever wanna open one of these up, uh, you need to loosen these uh, uh, four screws here that have the uh, rubber rubber part, and then uh, these uh, Phillips. So you need to have a, a hex and a screwdriver and uh, take these four out, take this four out, and then the whole thing should slide apart. And uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Um, while I'm back here, if you ever do pick one of these up, um, it doesn't work without this cable on it. I don't know if you can see that's a little bit dark, um, but you need to have a cable that runs between these two BNCs. Uh, this one says uh, 10 megahertz rough output, and this says external rough input. And so you can supply your own 10 megahertz from the outside world, like from a rubidium standard, and you can bring it in here to the external. But if you're going to use the internal reference, it's not hardwired inside. There's no switch or anything. You, you need to have this cable that connects these two. Otherwise, uh, it'll show reference unlocked or... or oscillator unlocked it, it'll show you some 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 error um, so if you if you do find yourself with one of these um, it might be missing this cable mine was missing um, so uh, you need to build a cable or find one um, but it definitely needs that in order to function correctly all right now to get to the ROMs the ROMs are right down here I can see them but they're under under this thing which is a big RF can and so we need to take this we need to take this off. And it's held in with um, Torx. So now we have to find some Torx screwdrivers. And of the right, the right size. And that's too small. And I think this is the right size, okay. So there's a bunch of different ones. Don't take the ones off on the uh, aluminum can. You take the ones off of the uh, PC board. So there's one here, here, uh, this one, this one, and this one over here. So I think there's only four, and that is enough. Get this one out. All right. Now this thing should be loose. Yes, it is now loose. And uh, so this one goes in with an edge connector here. So take that edge card out. There we go. It just kind of flips up. And we can see that there's uh, two push-on connectors here. And they just come off. They're actually labeled one and two. And, and uh, so that's easy to do. And then this whole thing can flip out of the way. Okay, so now you're now you're set to go and you can see the ROMs down here. All right, so we can pull those ROMs out and uh, you have to remember the locations. Locations are very strange on these things. It's uh, U6, U7, U23, and U24. So when you get the ROM sets, they'll be marked. Uh, 6, 7, 23, and 24. So they're a very odd sequence. Um, they don't make any sense. Uh, again, six, 7, 23, 24. So we'll replace them, uh, replace them one by one. 
Let me get out something to lever those out with. Could take this board off and make my life easier, but this works fine just to put a screwdriver under there and wiggle it back and forth, take one out. So 24. We will put 24 in. Make sure your pin one is in pin one. There we go. sure all your pins are straight before you plug it in. A lot of times when you are replacing things, a pin can get bent up and not go into the socket correctly, so be very careful with that. So I just took out U6. This is U6. And I have them written on here in pencil so I can see them. This is U6. All right. And U7. Sure, hope this works. All right, we are done. We can put our thing back on. J1, J2. And put our working cable back on. That's all there is to it. Well, uh, let's see. I guess I should power it up before I go too much further. Because if it doesn't work, no sense of buttoning it up. So let me rearrange things. Okay, let's, uh, let's power it up. It's upside down, but I think the electrons will stay in for a while. Yay! Yay, it works! Yay! Uh, 1990, Rev 1990. Oh, dear. Copyright, Rev 1990. I thought this was going to be a new version. Uh, it's Rev 171290. I think that's still newer than the one I had, but it is giving a fail also, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's turn it right side up. Maybe the electrons will be happier.
okay, I'm sorry it's sideways, but uh, it's giving me some failure codes. Um, the buttons don't press. The only button that seems to operate is preset and uh, it just doesn't go anywhere. I, I hit the cal button, I can't get it to cal. So yeah, there's just something wrong. I don't know. I'm 0 for 2. I'm going to put the other ROMs back in and call it done. I mean, it works. It's fine. Uh, I guess I'll just always have a uh, an old set of ROMs in it. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't get it to uh, can't get it to go. At least it's at least it's running. Um, before I couldn't even get the uh, ROMs to uh, actually generate code that was worthwhile. The frequencies and stuff are all off, so it definitely needs a cal. But the cal button doesn't work, the config button doesn't work, uh, in fact none of the buttons work. The only button that works is the preset button, so that's kind of weird. Uh, hit preset, yep. So whatever the error is, it just won't let me go any further. Um, anyway, I try it again, let me put it back together. All right, it's all back together. Uh, it's telling me a self calibration is needed and the oven is cold because I just turned it on. So oh, I'm gonna let it warm up for half an hour and then do a calibration and uh, <laughs> give up on it.